What's going on everyone? This is Max from Noisy Hearts Creations and today we're going to do an unboxing of X2 newest RA3 or Rotary Attachment 3. Uh, well, first of all, it came in this box like that uh, with one of those things that some companies like Apple like to use where you can just pull it and rip part of the box. But me being a impatient as I am I just took a knife and got my package out inside of it however is a much nicer box as you can see up here it is a styrofoam container with an x2 logo on top and like a little handle here now the cool part comes when we open it up it actually has magnets built in on both sides gives it a very nice and sturdy feel so good job x2 on the way it's packaged and it also uh, doubles as the storage unit for the ra3 when it is not in use so let's see what is actually inside uh, we do get safety instructions that's pretty easy uh, we do have an x2 ra3 quick start guide that we're going to go through but it should be pretty straightforward from what I've seen so far. Now, right on the very top, we have our main rollers. That is something that uh, you may be familiar with if you are familiar with their RA1 or RA2 and RA2 Pro, uh, except from what I understand, the big difference here is that all of those items being magnetic, you can now have multiple of those rollers in line if you have longer items or if you want to do uh, multiple tumblers or similar items at the same time um, it, based on what i'm seeing here it comes with those nice chuck attachments and even a little um, lever uh, i'm sorry level even a little level and a measuring tape oh look at this they even put nx2 logo on the back of it definitely definitely an improvement compared to the previous generation of the similar um, accessory now a base plate standard then the extension of a base plate with rollers by the way also wanted to let you guys know that all those items feel very quality like uh, it feels like it's an aluminum but it also feels like it's a very high grade uh, aluminum with a very nice finish so it does not feel cheap it feels well built and very very sturdy so let's see what's in here obviously the main motor i like the design they went this uh with this time everything feels very very nice so i'm gonna put this aside kind of want to see what this is oh this is the actual chalk attachment oh yeah i mean that thing feels awesome just not only looks awesome because this one is if you can see in the camera it's kind of gold with black which flows nicely together the actual feel when you rotate it it's high quality love it uh, i'm assuming oh by the magnetic let me see hold on okay well yeah they are definitely magnetic so i'm assuming it is yes much of an improvement compared to the previous model if you remember the previous generation where you had to screw those um, posts in uh, the new ones just drop in and just sit there that took me what less than five seconds altogether that is pretty awesome and i'm assuming it's just as easy to replace it definitely a huge win to x2 with this and for those of you who don't know uh, what those things are they're just posts that are designed to help you secure different maybe uneven objects or even a small ring so if you need to engrave in a ring you can absolutely do it with this new ra3 from x2 and at the bottom what do we have here that is a height extension 25 millimeter module okay i'll figure it out as we are installing it and then the last part here Okay, the last part here is basically an attachment that goes on top of the uh, base plate, just like in previous models, to where you can define or um, set up your rollers for different width. And what's in here? Looks like it comes with an hex key and a cable to connect it. Okay, well, like I said, it is just an unboxing video. I'm gonna have a separate video 
where I am installing it and doing my first project. But hopefully this was helpful for you guys if you're considering uh, getting this attachment. It sounds like right now it is only supported on the X2 P3, the new flagman for X2. However, I've heard that they're working on making it work with other X2 lasers such as an F2 Ultra, F1 Ultra and so on. So if that is the case, that would be absolutely awesome because there are a lot more new features that this thing will bring in a lot more possibilities. I appreciate you guys watching me today. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment and subscribe. Goodbye.